Indy Mogul. Now this is Vegas. Do a night we'll never forget. This is Todd Phillips. Early in his career, he delivered an impressive one-two punch, which was the comedies Old School and Starsky and Hutch. Then, in 2005, two things happened. Phillips' huge misstep school for scoundrels, and this guy. That's right, Judd Apatow swooped in and stole Todd Phillips' comedy thunder, becoming Hollywood's new king of funny. Phillips almost staged a coup when he was asked to direct Borat, but left the film over creative differences. Boy, I bet those differences seem pretty petty now. But despite that stupid mistake, Phillips didn't give up and is back again with what the industry is calling the comeback of a lifetime. The Hangover, a comedy about three guys who get drunk in Vegas for a bachelor party and lose the groom, has been given glowing reviews by Hollywood's top two newspapers. Yes, Variety is called a movie written by the same guys who wrote Four Christmases and the Ghost of Girlfriends Past, a breakout hit waiting to happen. Indeed, The Hollywood Reporter says a film starring Bradley Cooper, Ed Helms, and this guy is a piercingly funny twisted caper. Can this movie really be that good? Or is this a sign of the apocalypse? But if it is this good, it might be a sign of the apocalypse for one Mr. Apatow. Have you ever been to Vegas? And if so, can you handle it? I've been to Vegas and it's awesome. My favorite casino is the Win, with Caesars a close second. Last time I was there, I found out the lowest denomination the ATMs give out is a hundred dollar bill. Only in Vegas, baby. Write down your favorite Vegas memories and after the break we'll find out if the hangover lives up to the hype. My name's Harry and I see movies everywhere. You're watching Indie Mogul. The word on the street is this movie is amazing. Is it? It, it is. I laughed the whole way through. Yeah, it's really funny. Just non-stop laughter, basically. Yeah. Funniest movie I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, why, why was so funny about it? It's hilarious. What did you like about it? Uh, just everything. <laughs> Especially the end. Credits are probably the funniest part, but that's, uh, oh, you'll have uh... to see it to understand <laughs> that. What was like the coolest scene? What should people look out for without giving anything away? Oh, so many! I can't. I couldn't even pick one. All right, gentlemen, where are you visiting from? Ireland. Ireland. So, yeah. so what do you think of our American comedy? <laughs> you love it's it. You get it. Home don't like so. It's, yeah, like it's not too strange. So, where are you from? Australia. <laughs> are you visiting the city? Yes. What made you decide to see this movie today? It's rainy, so we thought let's go. <laughs> no, we couldn't wait to see it. So, you know, a lot of the guys in this movie are usually supporting characters. Yeah. Did anyone graduate to leading man? Uh, I don't know really the characters' names, but. Uh, Definitely the dude who is in uh, The Wedding Crashers was really funny. Oh, Bradley Cooper? Yeah. One of the guys was, Alan was an absolute idiot the entire oh. movie. Alan was mine, the fat chap. Yeah, he was good. The, uh, the really good looking one. <laughs> oh, Bradley Cooper, right? The guy with the blue shirt on most of the time, right? <laughs> you guys watch Judd Apatow movies? Yeah, yeah, forgetting Sarah Marshall and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How does this compare to that kind of movie? Awesome. It's pretty good. It's better, yeah, because they're all sort of similar. Yeah. Dead, you know, this is a bit different. I would say that uh, this was a bit more uh, edgy. It wasn't so much uh, teen oriented. I'd say it was a bit more uh, like adult humor also. Have you ever had a crazy night out on the town yourself? Not like that one now. Did it make you want to go to Vegas? Actually, yes, and I didn't want to go to Vegas before. Going there in oh, August. Like, 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 Do you think you'll have this good a time? Uh, we wanted that much cash, but yeah. uh, yeah. we'll, we'll try. What would you say to people who weren't sure if they should see this movie? Um, don't be an idiot and you should go. See it. See this movie. And is, is it too vulgar? <laughs> no. Or it's just the no. right amount? It's perfect. It's it's great. What do you give it on a one to ten? I'd give it an eleven. Like a nine. Eight and a half. I give it a nine. Definitely high eight, nine. Ten. Ten. Apparently this movie is better than Star Trek and Pixar's up, as audiences give the hangover a nine point five. And if you ever find yourself on a crazy night out, but you still want to go see a movie, don't worry, Beyond the Trailer can still help you decide which one to see. Just subscribe to our podcast and you can get every new episode downloaded directly to your phone. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from AMC Empire 25, and you've just gone Beyond the Trailer. Mm -hmm.